of us in the Houston area tonight. We're scrolling some of those cities and counties at the bottom of your screen along with school closures right now. Nearly a year after the last water emergency in our area, bottled water has once again become the hottest commodity at grocery stores all over, leading to empty shelves and long lines. KPRC 2's Michael Lapardi live on Houston's southeast side speaking to shoppers. Michael? Dominique Kroger told me that it does have bottled water inside of its warehouse and more pallets are expected to arrive over each of the next few days. But some of its stores are dealing with some of the same issues that people in the community are dealing with, be it that they are, are without water or that they also had to deal with broken pipes. Bundled up and lined up. Customers waited outside Houston area grocery stores for the chance to get some food and water. We had a family of five and we needed things like we're out. Tavera Hightower grabbed what she could from this Kroger on North Shepherd. Water's gone, um, bread's gone, so, but you know, we got snacks and juice and stuff for the kids. One shopper sent us video of people lined up both outside and inside a Houston HEB store on Wednesday morning. Here's how the produce section looked. Another shopper sent us videos and pictures from inside Kroger stores with some shelves nearly empty. We also just uh, got power back to our warehouse down on Calhoun Drive in um, Houston. So deliveries have been, uh, were a little bit slow yesterday. They picked up last night. We have full deliveries of groceries going to the stores tonight. Joe Kelly is president of Kroger's Houston division. He says the warehouse has about 25,000 cases of bottled water and more is on the way. Any water that we have in our warehouse is being shipped tonight. Some have already gone to the stores. And even if you can't find exactly what you want, he says the stores will have food to feed your family. We also asked about the lines outside of some of the stores today, and we were told those were for two reasons. One had to do with social distancing related to the coronavirus pandemic, and the other had to do with the fact that some employees weren't able to make it into work for various storm-related reasons, and because of that, they wanted to control the traffic in and out just to make sure the stores did not become overwhelmed. We're live in Southeast Houston. Michael Loparty, KPRC, 2 News. Yes,